Look, turning 30 is not that big a deal. Oh, really? Is that how you felt when you turned 30? Why, God, why? We seem to be in each other. Remember when you were the future? <laughs> I just turned 30 uh, two years ago. Uh, I mean, the years are passing me by. 27, 28, 29, 29, 29. Today, I'm going to tell you 37 TV characters from 11 shows who are under 35, at least at the beginning of the show. Some may surprise you, some may not. It can be quite strange to rewatch shows where the characters remain the same age while you grow closer to their age or even older. This has only been something people have been experiencing since we've had TV shows and movies. Obviously, people could have imagined book characters and things in the past, but it's definitely different. Anyway, let's get to it. First up, Golden Girls. Just kidding. I first thought of making this video like two and a half years ago, an episode of Full House came on and it was J Uncle Jesse's high school reunion and it had me wondering how old the adult characters were. So our first character is Jesse Katsopoulos who was just 24 when Full House began. Note that I'm going off the age of the characters unless I can't find info on the age of the characters then I'll go with the actor. The ages are usually close anyway. Also note that there are sometimes inconsistencies throughout shows. Two is Rebecca, who is not surprisingly about the same age. If you're wondering, Jesse and Rebecca get married in season four when they're likely around 27, 28. Their kids, Nikki and Alex, are born in season five when they would be around 29. Next up, Joey Gladstone was 28 or 29 at the beginning and around 36 by the end. Joey and Danny are supposed to be about the same age. Danny turns 30 in the first season, meaning he was 29 when the show started. If that feels too shocking for you, know that Bob Saget was about a year or two older when he first filmed it. There are 10 more shows and I wasn't really sure how to order it, so I'm just going to go in order of when they premiered. Different people may be familiar with different shows. So going by that, next are the parents on the Bernstein... Bernstein? Apparently, Bears. Now, it's possible you know the Bernstein Bears mainly from the books, um, but it was also an animated television show running from 1985 to 1987, and then there was a remake which ran from 2003 to 2004. As for the characters, Papa Bear is supposed to be 29 and Mama Bear is supposed to be 27. The kids are supposed to be 10, 8, and 2, so that is that. Next, we have two characters from Seinfeld, which was on air from 89 to 98. The characters on Seinfeld are just kind of going around, not really taking life too seriously, I feel, which has a younger vibe, but sometimes their energy or style or whatever uh, makes me unsure about their age. So I'm just mentioning them too. From things I was seeing, George Costanza was in his early 30s when the show premiered, and the actor who played him, Jason Alexander, was 29 when the show aired. But George isn't at home, please leave a message at the beep. If you're around that age, it may seem interesting that he is your same age. For this one, it is a little clear what the character's ages are supposed to be in general, though. The other one is Julia Louise Dreyfus, who played Elaine. She was 28 when the pilot aired, which does seem less surprising. On to another animated show. This next one is still running. It's one of the longest running television shows ever, um, but it started in 1989, and that show is The Simpsons. We have just one character from The Simpsons, Marge Simpson, who is 34. The characters don't really age. Well, it depends on who you ask, but basically that's just how old she is. Next is one you've probably seen some memes about if you're in a certain age group, and that is the Rugrats. In the Rugrats, most of the parents are around 32 to 34 years old. So here are the Rugrats' parents' alleged ages. Stu and Dee Dee, Tommy and Dill's parents, were 33 and 32. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Why on earth are you making chocolate pudding? Because I've lost control of my life. Angelica's father, Andrew Sush Drew Pickles, was 33 or 34. Her mother, Charlotte Pickles, was 34. Phil and Lil's parents, Betty and Howard DeVille, were 32 and 33. And Kimmy's stepfather, Chaz Minster, was 34. This isn't Rugrats, though. They were older and all grown up. This next one seems about right to me, but I'm still mentioning it in case it surprises someone else, and that is um, one of the teachers in Boy Meets World, Jonathan Turner. He was in his early 30s when first introduced. Alex Desaire, the actor who played the teacher Eli Williams, was also under 35. He was just 27 in season 3, the season in which he was a main character. And here's a fun fact about Boy Meets World. William Daniels, the actor who played Feeny, was 90. When Girl Meets World ended. The seventh show up is The Nanny. We have two characters from The Nanny, a show which ran from 1993 to 1999. Fran Fine, of course, here's a quote from a Nanny TV fandom page. Fran's age has always been treated like a mystery. When asked 
Fran always claims that she's 29 years old, starting right from the first episode, with heavy implication that she's in fact older. But that said, the youngest Fran could possibly be would be 30 at the start of the series and 36 at the end of the series. In real life, uh, Drescher's date of birth is September 30th, 1957. That would put her at 36, but I do think she's meant to be younger in the show, especially because of the next character's age, who I think is supposed to be around the same age. According to the same website, Val Toriello was 30 during the pilot, and I do think that's probably about right. Next is another one where I'm not really seeing info about the character's age, but the actress who played the mother of Keenan and Kyra on Keenan and Kel, Till Marchand, was 31 when the show aired. So this next character is supposed to be around 300 years old, but is in a body that looks much younger than that. The actress who played Sabrina's aunt, Hilda Spellman, on Sabrina the Teenage Witch, was 32 when the first season premiered. Additionally, the actor who played Mr. Poole was 34. Oh, uh, this one for 40 cents off Fruit Cooks has expired. No! <laughs> Next up we have Gilmore Girls. I've got four characters for this show. Let's do the math. Rory was 16 when the show aired. Lorelai had Rory at 16, aka Lorelai was 32. The character who plays her, Lauren Graham, was about 33 though. Perhaps it shouldn't surprise you then that Suki, uh, her friend, was about the same age or younger. We don't know exactly how old Suki St. James was, but Melissa McCarthy, who played Lorelai's friend and coworker, only recently had turned 30 when Gilmore's aired, meaning she was likely 29 for at least some of the filming for the first season. Yannick Trusto, who played Michelle, the concierge at the inn where Lorelai worked, also turned 30 the year the show aired. But wait, I haven't mentioned the youngest one yet. It's Kirk. I don't want to hear this. Sean Gunn, the actor who played him, turned 26 the year Gilmore Girls premiered. In season three, there's an episode that implies the character Kirk was 30, meaning his character was indeed probably around 26 or 27 when the show premiered. Maybe it's not surprising to you, but that one shocked me a little bit. This last show has the latest premiere because that's how we're doing things. The Office, at least the American version, ran from 2005 to 2013. I'm going to go in order from oldest-ish to youngest-ish, so maybe try and guess if you want. Note for those where I see it provided on some fandom site, I am going by their specific birthday, so if their birthday is after the premiere, then obviously they haven't turned that age yet from whatever year. According to a fandom website, Daryl was born in late 1971, making him 33 when the show premiered. And don't forget the new black man phrase I taught you. Pippity poppy, give me the zabba. Yes, sir. Remember that. Andy was also 33 when he was first introduced in season three. According to the same site, Oscar would have been 32 and Angela would have been 30 at the beginning of season one. I don't see an age for Roy, but the actor who played him was 31 when The Office aired. Going below 30 at air, the fandom site puts Jim at 26, Pam at 25 slash 26, and Kelly and Ryan at 25. I don't think the age was on the main fandom page for Gabe, um, but a different page shows him born in 1982, um, May, making him 27 when he was introduced in the sixth season. Had he been introduced in season one, he would have been 22. Erin was allegedly 26 to 32, when she appears in the fifth season. Because we're not really sure, we could possibly just call Gabe the youngest, which I think makes sense. Hopefully you can rest assured knowing that both uh, Steve Carell and Michael Scott, so the actor and the character, were over 35 throughout the show. Oh, wow, well, that was close. Now, those are the shows that I thought maybe at least one character was a little surprising. But there's obviously more that we could pull from. For example, the characters on Friends and How I Met Your Mother were basically all in their 20s uh, when the show started. If you do want me to go over those and more, I can do more. Or if you want to do under 40, um, let me know. We're not too far from the youngest millennials turning 30, at least based on popular ranges. So I thought this would be a good time. And I only chose shows this time, um, which aired between 1985 and 2005 to kind of make it appropriate for people in that age range. I think it's kind of fun and interesting to see different portrayals of people in the same age group. If you've thought of others that you thought are surprising, feel free to comment them below. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content on the generations and related content like this um, if you aren't already. And I will see you next time.